What's up YouTube, it's Elas27 here bringing you a new video. This is a Minecraft snapshot review of snapshot 12w21a. So first of all I'm going to go into single player and create a new world. I will name it mm, snapshot 12w21a and I'll change it to creative. If we go into more, more world options, first of all you can see there's new stuff. So generate structures, that's the same. World type, default, super flat, that's all the same. But now there's also large biomes. And all that really does is it makes the world, the biomes larger, obviously by the name. Um, allow cheats. This allows you to pop up a chat menu. So you can do commands like game mode, XP, time command, stuff like that. And a bonus chest. I have no idea what this does yet. I'm going to turn it on. Um, I don't care what the seed is. Let's just create this new world. Uh, there are a few things that I know that I should show you right away. But uh, the first thing is that the world does take a bit longer than others to load. And I think that's just because it's a snapshot and it's not a real jar yet. But yeah, so here we go. Oh, I think that might be my bonus chest. So um, let me open it. Oh, and it gives you just some starting stuff. That's cool. Because this is a newly created world, as you can see. Or, as you saw earlier. So, that's pretty cool. The first thing I want to show you is in Creative Menu, there's a little bit more. Uh, this is the first thing. Gravel here has a completely new texture, and I think it looks a lot nicer. I mean, it's less annoying, less vibrant stuff like that and I think that's pretty cool second of all there's a new ore called emerald ore this is what it looks like and if I use these commands to turn myself off creative or game mode zero and oh, I should have given myself a pick hold on so let me just get a diamond pick um, Emerald ore can only be mined with iron or diamond. So, I would just use iron and you get an emerald. So, I'll use diamond too. And that's what an emerald looks like. And if I go down here, you can get yourself a bunch of emeralds, like so. Uh, this is the next thing. It's called a book and quill. That's just what it looks like. And it's a little missing because my um, my texture pack is based off of 1.2 but if I right click with the book and quill this pops up and if you just ignore this big missing thing on it you can actually type so I'm just doing like hello I'm elast27 and then I can click sign and name the book so I'll name it memo whatever by Sam Federic which is my username and I'll do sign and close. And now it's an enchanted book. And it's called Memo by Sam Eric. And I can open it and it says, Hello, I'm Elast27. And that's pretty cool. It's like a book. You can read it. I'll just throw it in the water. Um, here's the next thing I want to show you. So, I now with emeralds, there's this new sand texture, uh, the gravel texture too. But um, I can go up to a villager and right click him to talk to him. And this happens to be just a normal villager. If I talk to him, he says he wants seven emeralds and he'll give me diamond boots. So, um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that won't work because you need to block it. So I just pick it up and put it back down and I'll get these diamond boots. And I don't know where he went. If that's him back there, he went inside. And that's interesting. Um, but I think, yeah, this is the guy I traded with. You can see because there's particles going off from him. So if I open up the menu again, he still has the seven emeralds for diamond boots, but now there's more that he will trade you. He'll give you one emerald if you give him eight iron ingots. So let me get eight iron ingots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. And I will give him the eight ingots. He'll give me an emerald. And once his particles go off, we'll just watch him. There they go. I will open them up again. And he now has nine emeralds for a diamond axe. 
So let me just block these together. That's nine. And I'll get a diamond axe. And you can keep doing this with all these people. If I go past the diamond axe, now it's four for an iron helmet. So you sort of get the picture. Picture. Ugh. And then all these villagers will offer you different stuff. So this guy's like one emerald, he'll give you four bread. Fine. I like that deal. Uh, this guy wants 45 rotten flesh, he'll give you an emerald. I think that's a good thing to get rotten flesh off your hands. He'll give you a, an emerald for 26 paper. Like all of these guys will just give you random stuff. This guy give him an emerald, he'll give you seven melons. Um, so I think that's pretty cool with all the emeralds and trading. Um, and certain people will give you respective, um, respective items. For example, if the priest is in here, hopefully he is. Alright, he's not. Whatever. But, like, the butcher will most of the time give you meat for trading. The librarian might give you paper or books or stuff. The, um, blacksmith, he'll give you, like, weapons. So it's all very neatly planned out. And then there's a few more things to go over. Um, there's sandstone stairs now. And that's what people kind of like because, like, they make a sandcastle or something like that. And they can use these sandstone stairs, which I think is pretty cool. And this is where the newest and, I think, best comes into play. Let's say you built a base. I'm just going to take this house as my base, right? And I'll put down this thing. This is called an ender chest. What you see by it is it has particles glowing from it, just like an enderman or a nether portal or something like that. Now I'll open up the ender chest and there's nothing in it, just like a normal chest. Now, let's say this is my base and I have like a pile of diamonds. So I'll put the diamonds in and then I go off and I build another base, right? And I don't have enough room in my inventory to fit the diamonds, and the base is really far away. Well, if I put down another ender chest here, and I'll open it up, my diamonds are right there. And if I break it, my diamonds don't come out, because my diamonds are still in this ender chest. But now, if I go back to this ender chest, and... You see the diamonds are stolen here. I'll break it. Nothing comes out. That's because now the diamonds are stored in, like, in an alternate dimension. If I put down another ender chest, the diamonds are still there. So that's pretty much how that works. And I think it's really handy for transporting things to a new base. You say, oh, I'm going to move. So you put all your stuff in that ender chest. You fly over to your new base. Or not fly over. You, like, walk over or whatever. And then you just pick it up. And to make it, you're going to need some obsidian and an eye of ender. And it's really simple. Uh, let me just get an eye of ender. And here we go. You make a um, sort of like a chest out of obsidian. I'm going to just put my eye of ender in the middle. And there's your ender chest. Ta da. And you cannot make a double ender chest. So let's say I put all the stuff in here. Right? And that was in this one. I can open it with any one of these four. So yeah, one ender chest, you can only have 27 slots available. But I think it's really helpful for transporting items. And then there's one last thing that I want to go over, but it requires a bit of flying. So I'm going to pause the video and come back in a second. Alright, so I found this. And this is what I want to show you. Um, sorry for the XP everywhere, first of all, because there was a bunch of building glitches and I had to throw this, throw all the XP at them. But this is a sand village, and it's only in the desert, and it perfectly works the exact same way as a normal village. See, so yeah, here's a building glitch. If I just throw a few blocks at it, it should rebuild itself. Watch, should I throw that there? Yep. See, it's just rebuilding itself. It's just some building glitches. Sure, it'll be patched. Almost positive. And these villagers you can still trade with, just like others. See? Sorry, that's just my family in the background. Um, but there's actually one more thing that I forgot to show you guys. 
which I also need to find, so I will find it and I'll be back. Alright, so this is the final thing I wanted to show you guys, and this is naturally spawned also in the desert, and it is a sand temple, slash sand castle, whatever you want to call it, and see there's a sand village over there. Um, but this is basically what it is. There's a few building glitches back here, so I won't go too far back there. But, um, it's just like a sand temple. You can walk around it. There's some stuff in here and everything. And it's cool because it's like naturally spawned. But this is the best part about it. In every one of the sand temples, there's a blue wool block. And if you break it, there is a chest room underneath. But watch out for this pressure plate. Because if you set it off, there's TNT everywhere underneath there. Let me just get some smooth sandstone. See, these are new names. Sandstone, chiseled sandstone, smooth sandstone. I also have stone brick, mossy stone brick, cracked stone brick, chiseled stone brick. I think that's cool. So let's just take that out for the moment. In this chest room, bones of gold ingots. Iron bone, rotten flesh, rotten flesh and bones. Gold, iron, flesh bones. Um, most of these chest rooms have gold, rotten flesh bones in it. But I did find one earlier that had a lot of diamonds and emeralds in it. I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, this is Minecraft Snapshot 12W21A. And hopefully the actual jar will be out soon for you guys to get. I will put a link in the description of this video to for a download of this snapshot. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Elias27, and I hope you enjoyed this video.